guys welcome back to another one of my videos today I'm going to be doing a very simple modification uh, I was scrolling through some of the forms and I ran across this and it's one of those things that you don't realize is a problem until someone points it out and then you're like oh my god I can't unsee this problem and that problem is this the license plate light will glare in the backup camera uh, especially if you have LED bulbs in there, uh, just because of how bright they are, and this uh, light just shoots straight up and illuminates the whole tailgate, basically, and uh, causes glare on the backup camera. So what we're doing is we're swapping them out for these. These come from the Super Duties, and they're not an exact fit, but they're pretty close. So with a little massaging, you can make them work. But the Super Duty ones are recessed in here, and then they just shoot the light straight out at the license plate instead of up and at the camera. So I'm going to show you guys how to swap these out. And uh, it's pretty quick. You can do it in about an hour. Uh, there's a little bit of modification. Um, and you won't be able to put these back in once you start the modification process. So do be careful. But let's go to the workbench and get started. So here we have the two license plate light housings. This is the F-150 housing and this is the F-250 housing. So you can see they're quite different, but with just minor modification you can make them fit. So if you notice here, the sides of the F-150 housing have these locking tabs and on the F-250 housing uh, they're on three sides. So we're going to need to take off this one and then we're also going to take off this little tab right here, these three little tabs that just help it sit more flush. And then uh, we may need to trim these two side locking tabs back just a little bit. And then we will have to also modify the bumper pad on the truck. Because uh, as you can see, the F-250 housing is a little bit bigger than the F-150 housing. So once, uh, once we get this modified, we can run back to the truck and modify the bumper pad opening just enough so that this fits. So to accomplish this, I'm going to be using a rotary tool with a cutting wheel and probably some grinding or sanding wheels later on. But for these first few cuts, a cutting wheel will be uh, probably the best choice because we're just going to be doing some small detail stuff and just cutting stuff off quickly. And then we'll come back with a sanding wheel to clean it up. And so there's our modified uh, new housing. It's not the most beautiful looking thing, but I did uh, file this down a little bit. It's not the most beautiful, but uh, it'll work. So let's go ahead and go to the truck and see what we have to do there. So now we got to remove this license plate light housing. So you can do that very simply. Reach under here behind the bumper, twist the light out, and then on there's locking tabs on either side but you just need to unlock one side and the easiest side is going to be the front side so reach around to the front of this housing push it in that'll unlock it and you can pop it through and that's all you got to do now you'll see that there's this ring around here the inner ring and that's what we're gonna have to cut out um, now the best advice I have is to take it uh, very slowly uh, one step at a time because uh, it's not an exact science so if you take your new housing and push it up there you'll see that the hole fits perfectly uh, for the new one uh, size wise but if you try to put it in even with our trimmed pieces it just it won't fit so we're gonna have to trim this back a little bit
So after test fitting and looking under the truck, uh, it is going to be a better fit if I just trim these locking tabs a little bit. So I'm just going to take just a little bit off the edge there. Nice. Well, there they are. They are both replaced now. They look uh, factory because, I mean, they show their factory replacement parts. You can get these from Ford. I will put the part numbers in the description down below if you'd like. However, they're about 25 or 50 bucks, uh, depending on where you get them and current pricing. But I got these off Amazon. They're Chinese plastic, you know, probably the same as Ford, but they're not from Ford. They're from Amazon, 10 bucks for a pair. I'll also put that to the link in the description below so you can go buy either one, whether you want the Amazon cheapo or the Ford part, whichever one you want, links in the description down below. Um, I'm going to install the bulbs and then once it gets dark, I will take some after pictures so you can see the before and after. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I did uh, discover this modification while scrolling through some forms online. And there are a lot of people who put in some of the groundwork to figure out how to make this project possible. So I want to give them the credit that they're deserved. I did not come up with this uh, project. I'm simply recreating it uh, for myself and videotaping it so other people can see how it's done. But the people who put in the legwork do definitely deserve the credit uh, for doing all the hard work. So I'm going to put their names on the screen. And if I missed anybody, I do apologize. This is just the people that I saw uh, on that particular forum post. So big shout out to these guys. Uh, again, guys, if you want to do this mod yourself, links to the products in the description below. I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like, if you like this video. And if you want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.